Hi everyone, I'm Darla Cazzarelli with Refining Purpose and today I have the pleasure of interviewing Marcus Portillo. He is an associate engineer for Southern California Gas Company. Thank you so much, Marcus, for being here with us today. No, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Of course. So I want to start off today with just kind of giving, give us a backstory about where did you go to school? How did you get to where you did? And what's really been influential for you throughout your undergrad and just journey to getting to where you are now? I attended uh, Montebello High School. Um, it wasn't until my senior year until I really uh, decided on what I wanted to study. Um, the first, first, uh, first and foremost, I kind of wanted to pursue law enforcement. Um, however, it wasn't until my senior year of high school when I had the opportunity to, to uh, receive guest speakers that came into our classroom. So a couple engineers came by and sure enough, I really loved what they, what they, what they do and what they said they did in engineering. I was always good at math. So I felt a very strong connection to, en to enter the engineering field. Uh, sure enough, um, when I got to uh, Cal State LA, my college, um, I switched my major from criminal justice to uh, engineering, civil engineering. Mm -hmm. And I um, pursued that. Um, it wasn't as easy. I did struggle a lot with a lot of classes. I even failed a class. And uh, it was really discouraging to fail because I never failed a class before. So the first time I did take it really hard and I even thought about switching uh, my major um, and thinking, you know what, I, should, I, I was silly to, to, to think I could become an engineer. Those are kind of the thoughts that were running through my mind. Um, however, I overcame that and just said, you know what, I'm gonna stick it out. Failure is, is okay. It's, it's actually a good thing because you learn more from failure than you do from uh from winning and from seceding so um yeah i stuck i stuck with engineering and i kept on going um a big reason for me why i didn't quit i always think about who influenced me right and who i who i wake up for and uh, i think it had, had to say i have to say that it was my mother and my grandmother mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother she came from mexico uh with my mother when uh, my mother was probably around I think 12 years old, very young. Um, so one big influence for me was my grandmother and my mother making sure that they knew uh, their sacrifice was never gonna be a waste by me not reaching my full potential and me not sacrificing. I couldn't just throw in the towel from failing, from failing uh, engineering because um, you know when my mother and my grandmother tried to cross over to America, they actually got caught. Um, so, that didn't stop them coming back and uh, reaching uh, America. So that's a big influence on me. So I kept on pursuing engineering. Sure enough, I graduated um, as a civil engineer. I started working for a company called Qit as an engineering estimator. And uh, after around eight months, I switched over to SoCal Gas, where I became uh, an engineer uh, for them. And that's where I'm currently at. And yeah, uh, being an engineer is great. Uh, to, you have a lot of responsibility, a lot of problem solving. And um, yeah, I love it. So that's a little brief background about myself. Wow, thank you for sharing that. That's super inspiring. And I love how you talked about growth through challenge. That's huge. Like there's no success without failure. And mm -hmm. you that you're, you're being honest about that and that you've highlighted that because that's really what helps establish resilience being able to keep going despite adversity and um i know you did mention throughout our conversations that engineering is not a career path that is necessarily always advertised no no absolutely so like just to go back from montevella high school um like you're right there's no guest speakers that come really by but my teacher would actually call up people his his uh, past students that you know graduated from montevello and people that he taught you know, um, would come back and they would actually be our guest speakers. He actually was kind enough to do that and outreach and bring people back. And I think that was my best class of high school because he actually did that. And that was the only teacher that I knew who actually took the time to bring in guest speakers. Mm -hmm. So 
uh, yeah, I didn't know a lot about a lot of career paths um, growing up. Um, I think law enforcement was like the only thing I thought I could ever do, and that and that was going to be it for me, until he brought in guest speakers, and he brought in several different kinds, and uh, I really appreciate him for that. I still still call him up. I still see him as one of my mentors. Um, but you're right. There's not that many that uh, come in as engineering. So I didn't even know what engineering was, like I said, until my uh, senior year of high school. And, you know, he, he had to bring in at least two speakers that influenced me because the first engineer, I was like, okay, that, that's great. And so he brought in the second engineer and I was like, wow, like this is something I thought I could do. So I, I think, you know, teachers that, that go the extra mile, um, I really appreciate that because I wouldn't be where I am uh, without him bringing in that guest speaker. I, I who knows where I would be as far as a different career path. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate him doing that for me. You're essentially our guest speaker for all of the engineers. So oh, yeah. tell us, so what exactly is engineering? What's the job? Give some insight to our audience about your day-to-day -day work. And just if I was interested in that career path, what, what should I know, you know? Okay. Um, so as an engineer, the main foundation is a lot of math and physics. So that's like the, like, if you're going to be an engineer major, you're going to have to take those classes just to get you going. And then, then you get entered into the real engineering. Depends on what you want to be. There's, mo there's so many engineering paths. Um, there's civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. Those are like the three main ones. But um, there's way more than that. Uh, the list goes on and on. I kid you not, there's engineering for anything. And you could find that. So I, I tell everyone that's going to go to college, I always try to push them to be an engineer because it's, it's such a broad thing to do. Um, as far as an engineer, like you're a problem solver. You got to be able to solve problems. Um, if I could relate anything to what I did in, in previous, my previous job, Qit, we pretty much, I was an estimator. So we kind of just estimate the cost of a project. I know a lot of people say like, well, I'm not that good at math or they say like, well, I'm not that good at physics. Well, e neither was I. I was never the top, um, you know, valedictorian. I wasn't always the brightest kid. So I don't ever want to feel someone who says like, you know, I'm discouraged because I'm not smart enough because I felt um, the same way. But it was a leap of faith saying I'm going to do it. And no matter what it takes, uh, I don't ever think that's a good excuse to not become something right. Like people say, well, I'm not smart enough. I hear that as an engineer. Like people are like, hey, like, don't you have to be smart to be an engineer? I'm like, well, like, I guess you could say that, but like this other way, I mean, there's other things that you could offer yourself as far as, you know, just working a little harder, putting extra time. So I don't ever want to feel, I don't ever want to hear anyone say like, I'm not smart enough or my grades are not good enough because my grades weren't good enough and um, I wasn't the brightest, but I was determined to uh, reach a dream that I wanted to reach. And I think if I could be an engineer, I kid you not, anyone who's seen this can be an engineer. And if you ever need someone to mentor you, um, use me as a resource and I could help push you. I could help motivate you and, you know, help you in any way I can, because I feel that anyone can be an engineer if I can be an engineer. So that's just my honest truth. Thank you for that. That That's super, super powerful. And it's true. We have all these stigmas associated with certain jobs, like, like you said, like physics, math, that's what people associate with engineering. And it's like, oh, well, if I'm not doing well in algebra, algebra one or some type of math class, then I'm going to assume that I can't do that job. But like you mentioned, you, you, you were in that same position in a sense, like, can I do this? But you took that leap of faith, you know, and mm -hmm. that's super powerful. And that takes a lot of strength. And, and I'm sure that a lot of our viewers will be influenced by that and empowered like I said I failed one of uh, I failed calculus the first calculus I ever took uh, I never seen it before and I failed and um, yeah it was very discouraging you know knowing that you actually failed a class that you know there's going to be harder classes coming so like I said it's it's okay to fail and, and I think everyone is scared of failure I think people uh, think it's a bad thing. I think in society that we see fair, like, hey, you failed and, you know, everyone's going to laugh at you or everyone's going to put you down or look at you different, but and get up again and dust yourself off and keep on going. Failure is okay and, and be ready to fail. And it's a, it's a good feeling for me now. Like anytime I fail, it's going to say, at least I'm trying something new and it's out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, and given our organization focuses on 
a wide range of population. What's some general advice that you would give them, even regardless of whether they're entering into engineering as a career path, just someone really not sure of what path am I going to take? I, you know, I always say, you know, pursue something that's going to make you happy. Um, I think that's like the number one thing I could say, you know, pursue a passion, right? Because I don't ever want someone to do something they hate. Um, you know, going to college, picking the career that you want to pick, just make sure you've done your research and um, you know, it's something you want to do with your life because you got to make sure you, you love doing it. And I don't ever want someone to wake up and feel, hey, I, I, I don't enjoy this. But at the same time, you have to really study on your majors. I have seen people who pick majors and, and they're struggling with, with getting jobs. That's another thing that I have to say. So I always recommend people like make sure that whatever you're going to study, you got to make sure there's a job for it and there's a field for it. Uh, that's just my advice. Um, so I just, you know, you got to do your homework. You got to research. I think in society, we, we get asked as a kid, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I think, um, that's not a good question to be asked. You now we should kids and ask the kids in, in school is, is what kind of lifestyle do you want to have? Um, I think that's a better question. Now, in today's world, you don't need to work that regular nine to five job. I mean, you can create your own job and make your own source of income. Um, so, you know, you could be an entrepreneur, you could do certain things. So I just want to keep an open mind on that. Um, but if you're sticking with the traditional route of college, I just want to make sure that you are going to pick a field that you're going to have a job lined up. Uh, that's why I chose engineering, to be honest with you. I knew that there is such a big market on finding jobs. And I didn't want to graduate college and worry that, hey, I don't know what to do. I don't know where I can work with my degree. That's a really important point. My last question for you is, is there any other topics you'd like to discuss that we may have missed? Um, yeah, I, I think uh, another thing I want to ask you is just, you know, dealing with stress, dealing with anxiety or dealing with certain things that you know everyone deals with um i definitely recommend you guys to to work out to run uh get outdoors and uh keep do something like you're, you're having a hobby you know having something you have your escape route if it means reading a book um if it means uh bike riding or if it means just doing something doing anything just to get your mind and, and have your escape you know like myself i, I like to, to go for a run I uh, like to work out or read books um, to escape uh, whatever I'm going through. Helping other people and then working with other people, I think that's something else too. You know, you, you can't do it alone. Uh, and um, some people, are, I mean, even myself, I was, I was very hesitant to ask for help. You know, I always kind of just was like, really wasn't that person to, to outreach and try to see if I could ask for help. Now I'm learning that. I'm learning to ask help and you know seek advice and seek uh seek just somebody who knows what, what they're doing so that's what i'm learning that's like my thing that i'm going through right now is just to learn how to ask for help and how to talk to the right people it's really yeah. important that we all help each other um support each other in our goals and just help each other grow because that's what life's about and if you want to be successful it's subjective and it's just about how you work with the people and what that means to you and what your goals mean to you so yeah i always uh, dream big and always shoot for the stars. Uh, we are humans. Uh, we are very powerful creatures. And some of that, I feel we forget how powerful we really are. So don't ever feel that you can't do something. I push of myself saying that I can't be an engineer. You know, I pushed that the whole uh, six years it took me to become an engineer. Um, I just kept on pushing. So if I could become where I could become, you guys could become anything you want. So I just want to let you know that you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Thank you. That is such valuable advice. Thank you so much, Marcus, for being genuine and, and opening up about your life, your career path, and just everything that's that's influenced who you are today because it's it's precious and it helps other people, at least for myself. It's it's really been an eye opener for me just hearing about your story and, and what it's like to be an engineer and about the fact that there's so many career paths out there that as students we sometimes don't know about. And you know, that's, that's really important to spread awareness on. So thank you so much. And thank you everyone for watching. Again, I'm Darla Cazzarelli with Marcus Portillo here on Refining Purpose TV.